Welcome back to DXB Today. And joining us now in the studio, we have Edward Hammett, who is the CEO of Switch Food. Thank you so much for joining us, Edward. Thank you for having me. So can you tell me a little bit about Switch Foods and what it is that you do? So Switch Foods is a food tech startup incubated in the UAE, specialized in producing plant-based meat alternatives that are d healthy, delicious, and nutritious and sustainable. Uh, we focus on providing local consumers with the tools to increase their adoption of plant-based diets into their food consumption and therefore having a positive impact on their health and the environment. Okay. Do you see a rising trend here in the UAE maybe with people shifting to plant-based uh, food? The UAE has a very young and educated population and we see that we have the awareness mm -hmm. in the UAE about the importance of food choices, yeah. individual consumer food choices. Yet, what we notice is a gap in the market in the offering True. on the supply side. So when we were looking into launching Switch and after doing you know, a deep market analysis and market study, we found that the category was growing organically um, yes from a small base but without really the product offering that consumers needed so uh, most of products on the shelves were imported products with a very high price point so we noticed there was no really product market fit for our region and as you know very well food is very local right yes. um, and the price point was very elevated so we try with what we do to tackle these two main points I'm glad you mentioned that because I was just going to say I have been trying these uh, meat alternatives and they are quite pricey. So are you saying now that they're going to be locally sourced, does that mean you can actually bring the price point much lower? That's already done. It's done? Yeah, yeah, that's already done. So Switch Foods products um, are already on all supermarket shelves, uh, including all large retailers, all online platforms, um, and you can see that we are, um, you know, selling our RSP is about 35 to 40 percent less than the that oh, our wow. than our competitor imports. That is really impressive. Yeah. That's good. That's yeah. good. So, if I may, um, so when you looking at the plant-based meat or uh, protein, um, obviously using plant to replace the protein in in a, in a livestock. Uh, what about the other minerals, vitamins, uh, compared to the normal meat, for example? Is there any big difference, and how you compensate for that sort of mineral and, and vitamins so uh, uh, as an expert you know every food has its own um, amino acid profile and set of vitamins and minerals we don't expect every food to mimic exactly right. another type of food hmm. what we're trying to do is to provide a product that looks feels smells tastes like meat without right. the harm of meat mm -hmm. now in creating the product, we had two routes, right? We can keep the product healthy, nutritious, yet sustainable and clean label, mm -hmm. right? With missing a few ingredients in the meat amino acid profile, such as iron or vitamin B12, which consumer can get from many other food sources. Right. Or we had to process our food extra and add those, let's say, artificial or synthetic elements into it. We chose option one. Yes. We believe that, con we wish that consumers will consume Switch uh, for breakfast, lunch and dinner, yes. but that's not the case. Consum we talk about the nutritional basket yes. with consumers. So the same way you consume vegetables where you, have, where you don't have these minerals or vitamins so you can so consume meat, when you're consuming Switch you're getting another set of amino acid profiles and minerals that are very healthy that are, that are um, um, part of, of vegetables, yet they are not part of meat. The protein um, levels are exactly the same. Mm -hmm. The amino, because we use pea, so we don't use any allergens, any synthetics in our in our in mm -hmm. our products. We use pea, which has an amino acid profile very very similar to the one of meat, um, and 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 its bioavailability and biodigestibility is also very close. Without the harm, without the cholesterol, without the hormones, without the fat, without the uh, antibiotics, all of that. And now since COP is here in Dubai, what are you guys doing in regards to that? Um, so we've been working very closely with the, uh, with the COP FMB team. Mm -hmm. um, we try to incorporate food products uh, into their menus, into their catering menus as much as we can. 
um, we are obviously locally produced, so mm -hmm. our carbon footprint is much lower yeah. than those imported uh, items. We also offer localized food, mm -hmm. you know, that uh, fits the culinary habits and culinary tastes of, of the region. Um, so we currently have a food truck in the blue zone um, at, at COP28. Uh, we're also incorporated into, as I said, the catering menus of, of, of some of the caterers. And we also have a ki kiosk in the startup village um, okay. showcasing the, our innovation uh, in the UAE. Well, can't wait to try it when we go to Expo. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I'm guessing one of the challenges that you face, other than, of course, whatever business uh, challenges no there normally are, would be educating the public about uh, how your product is just the same as eating meat. What are your strategies for, uh, for doing this? So our brand messaging is uh, targeting meat eaters. So we're not, we're not uh, uh, targeting vegans or vegetarians who already have their food habits, correct? Our mission, our purpose is to reduce uh, normal consumers' consumption of meat, right? So today, we know that the region is one of the highest meat-consuming regions globally, at about three times the average recommended by uh, FAO. So, um, and that's cause of many issues, including personal health issues, um, food waste, the environment, and all of that. Our messaging is we don't want you to become vegetarian. We don't want you to become vegan. We're not, we're not preaching a lifestyle on you. Okay. We're telling you just give us one or two meals per week. Uh, do yourself good, do your health good, do the environment good, replace. We're giving you the tool to replace some of your meat with a product that is at parity in terms of taste and texture. I think that makes it a lot easier for meat eaters because yeah. normally the messaging for other people would be just to shove it in your face, you know, you got to completely yeah. make a switch. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so we, we believe that food is, is, is a social experience, especially in our region. You need to savor your food, you need to indulge in it. Yes. Yeah. So it needs to taste good, to smell good, to feel good. You need to have the same experience that you're having with food that you are used mm. to. And I love that you've like, you highlighted that, you know, you don't put all these alternative products inside because just to make the taste and the texture be the same you know and to have that same nutritional value for me like when I look at a packet of food I want to know exactly what's in it and I prefer to go for like whole food rather than just plant-based so I know that I'm getting all that natural nutrition in my food yeah so so we don't compromise on our on our health and nutrition proposition at all we have a very short list of ingredients if you read the back of our pack it's all ingredients that you understand, that you know. And can pronounce. And can pronounce. <laughs> <laughs> it's important, yes. Exactly. We're, we're clean label. Um, we are uh, obviously vegan certified. We're non-GMO certified. We're yes. halal, obviously, because we're plant-based. But yeah, we kept focus on, on, on giving a healthy and nutritious alternative to consumers. We, at my own house, we consume switch only. We stopped using wow. meat. So for me to eat it and to give it to my kids is a testament of the kind of products that we're producing. I mean, you that. mentioned uh, the texture and the feel and the nutrition is especially in terms of protein. Uh, as you know, part of the food is the experience of cooking, right? Yeah. So is it a big difference between cooking uh, plant-based meat versus the normal meat, for example? Is it, do you have the same way so, of cooking? So I can't speak for the industry, but we switch. Um, when people ask us, we tell them, treat it as if you were treating meat. Oh. Right. Oh, wow. Cook it okay. exactly the same way. Makes it Whether easier. it's, it, and if you come to our facility, we have an innovation center in yes. Kizar at Switch. Um, and we have a full-fledged kitchen okay. that has every possible kitchen equipment. So you can you know, an induction, gas, flat top, grill, conventional oven, air right. fryer. So we tell chefs, consumers, um, CEOs, procurement officer, take the food and cook it as if it was meat. Right. Edward, thank you so very much. We could go on and on yes. all night, and we, we really wish we could. However, we have to put somebody under the spotlight right now. Shamal, I hope you're ready, because <laughs> so Ahmed's Shaman, got something for you. We've got something called DXB in 60, just to get to know you better. Right. So we have 60 seconds on the clock. I'm going to ask you a couple of questions. Are right. you ready? Okay, yes. Okay, let's cue the clock in three, two, one. If you weren't an agri-tech uh, director, what kind of work would you do? Uh, maybe working at university as a researcher. Okay, and one thing you cannot live without? Food. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. What is your first job? My first job, actually, I was a research assistant at a university. Okay, and what is your motto in life and work? Well, 
I think the motto is, is just making an impact and, and making incremental changes in people's life. That's really what has drive me and that's why I'm interested in food and agriculture. Mm -hmm. Hopefully we can tackle the challenges we have with the climate change and the food so. system. Thank you. And a book that you read recently. Oh, right. Okay. Just give me two seconds. Uh, the book I read recently, uh, it was a biography of Sir uh, Alex Ferguson. Okay. And why Dubai? Why Dubai? Why UAE? Well, yes. um, I feel I'm back in home. Okay. Nice. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you for your time. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Thank you so much, Shamal. So it was much. lovely getting to know you on this Likewise. episode. Edward, to you too. Thank you so much for joining us. It's now time for a quick break, but don't go anywhere because next we've got a beautiful musician on set. So we'll be right back. <laughs>